Hi, I'm Woody. I'm an Unreal Engine developer, filmmaker, and real-time animator. Today, I'm gonna to show you what's in my physical space, which makes all of my projects possible, including what you're seeing right now. We're gonna take a little bit of a look at my office and my hardware, but before I do, I have to do the cheesiest transition of 2023. All right, here I am. And here's how you're seeing this. Here's the camera that you're seeing me from here, and uh, this is my office. So I want to show you guys everything in here. There's like obviously all sorts of cool tech over here, but first we're going to go down here. This is my Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K. I'm going to be using him a little bit in this video for some fancy B-roll. So let's build him here. If you have the big old camera, you might as well use it, right? Welcome. Welcome to my studio. This is it. <laughs> Real life, tiny little production space. Here's one wall, here's the other. This is all it is. This is where I make all my stuff. So here's my desk setup. This is where I do most of my work. I know it looks a little intense and uh, maybe there's a one too many screens here. So I'll start with audio. You might be wondering what this guy is. This is a mic isolator, and this is really helpful. As you can see, I've got a lot of devices here, and I have a lot of fans on all of those devices, which ends up just being a little much. So if I pop this guy off, you can see I have my Rode NT2. This is great for voiceovers. I use this mic when I stream. It's kind of troublesome in a room where I have so many like fans and noisy things running at once. It's kind of a pain. The mic connects via XLR, which gets run all the way back over here to my Scarlet here. This is my audio deck. This thing does the job okay. One thing I've done to make this work even better for me is I've 3D printed a lot of the things that are holding it together. So like my headphones go on this hook here and I 3D printed this thing. I like set it up so that it could like just get bolted into the desk here. And I have this 3D printed bracket that holds it straight into the desk, which means it doesn't like go anywhere if I wanna like mess with it or anything. Here's my microphone that's connecting that you can hear right now. This is my main desktop machine. This is a Puget Systems Ryzen build. It's a 5900X 12 core, 3090, which used to be a little bit more of a flex than it is now. I always, always have like too much stuff on the USB bus over here. One of my goals is to reprint the side of this piece here and include some decks for my little drives. I use these Samsung T5s like all the time. These things are great. I can, I actually use them as a memory card on my cinema camera. Back here, I have my two G drive backups. I use these things not as often as I should. Hard drives are something I pay a lot of attention to and something I hope to upgrade in the future to something more of like a server space with all the various projects I have going on. This brings us to my first of many stream decks. This is also in a 3D printed bracket here. You can see that it sticks into the side of my desk, which is awesome because I like it right in front of me where I can grab it easily. Like I don't wanna reach into my desk. So you can see actually we're recording audio here right now in OBS. I have like a whole bunch of different presets here and whatnot. This used to be sort of my main device, but now I have things spread out amongst a couple of others, like my two pedals down here. I have this center button map to record. This is pause record. And this is the switch source monitor thing in OBS. And then on this pedal, I have three different cameras that I can switch through just by touching the pedal with my foot. Now it works a little better if you don't have your shoe on because it's a little quieter. Here's where I have my leap motion. My leap motion is really great for doing hand stuff. You see it in my videos all the time. I have it looped through in Unreal to my character. It's pretty much real time. If you don't know the leap, they aren't as popular as they used to be in the tech world, but VTubers still use them quite a bit. It's a, basically an infrared webcam that uses machine learning to be able to tell where your hands are in real time. It's pretty cool. My keyboard here is a Keychron. It is sort of the poser's mechanical keyboard, but I like it okay. It's better than what I had, which is fine. I have my Razer Blade over here, which I use for my second computer. Basically, a lot of times you might see in my videos, I'm using uh, two different computers. I'll use one to run my Unreal Engine environment and I'll use the other to do the tutorial or to work on for stream or something. That's how that works. For facial capture, I have the standalone iPhone over here. Now I have an iPhone that is specifically just for mocap and TikTok. He sits on a nice little metal adapter and a Gorilla Pot's holding up. And I have a fan back here to be able to cool it because let's face it, these were not meant to run 
facial capture data all the time, so they get pretty hot. It's a good pro tip if you're interested in doing any of this stuff. I have a couple dongles here that are designed to connect to my Vive trackers, which I'm not using as often these days, but I think that'll change really soon. The laptop is connected here to my Blackmagic A10 Mini. Now this thing is great. I use it in the field as well as on my desk. It lets me switch between several different HDMI devices. I have them all back through here, running into my cable management system. I also, you saw it, I have another Stream Deck here. Uh, I know that's quite a lot of Stream Decks, but when I'm live, I wanna trigger a bunch of things in my virtual scene and I have them all hooked up through here, which is very, very helpful. This is new, this just got here. I have two different mice. One's a vertical one. I have this Anchor vertical mouse that I really like. It's helpful because when I'm coding stuff in Blueprint, it just it takes a lot out of my fingers. So it's really nice to be able to have something that is a little bit more ergonomically representative of how the human hand works. Uh, I have the other one that I haven't replaced yet that I use with the laptop. Sometimes I switch them depending on the content that I'm making. I know it looks really dusty and part of that is because I have a paper like cover on it. Now those you can't really find except for iPad. Like a lot of people buy them for iPads and you know it's got this like little grit inside which is why it makes the dust so sticky. Like I took one made for the iPad Pro and I cut it into pieces. That's how, why I have like these two little parts here and they're slits and one seems to be showing. Ibuprofen here, kind of a must. Back here, I have my 2013 Mac Pro, AKA the trash can. It's not hooked up right now. And it's, you can see quite a bit of dust is on it. It's just, it's just chilling back here. Along with this router, I have a couple different routers that I use, certain mocap setups. It's nice to have everything on an offline router that's different than your home internet connection. For my two different screens here, I have a Dell 1080 monitor and I have a Dell Sharp 4K, wait, what's it called? It's, it's got one of those, it's a good monitor, but it's got one of those inscrutable names. For speakers, I just have like nice $100 Bose speakers that I've just been using for years and they get the job done. I don't really use them for monitoring professional audio, but I do every once in a while check what the video sounds like on speakers and I use these guys. I have it all plugged in through the Scarlett so that I can adjust the monitor down here and then I let, leave the level alone on the speakers themselves. So you're looking at my wall right now, but it's out of focus on purpose. The wall is covered in projects. Some of them are client projects, which I can't show you. Some of them are upcoming projects, which I wouldn't want to spoil. And then my calendar sits right next to it. Everything to the right of this black line is hypothetical. Maybe it will get planned, maybe it won't. And everything left of it is something that I'm actively working on. I use a whiteboard as a calendar and I have little strips of gaff tape that break it up into a grid system so that I don't have to redraw it every single time. North of my monitor screen here, I have my old Panasonic GH5, which doesn't get a ton of use. So I thought, why not make it a webcam? It also plugs into the ATEM, which is great. Got some older hard drives sitting behind it, just easy access just in case. And yeah, it's great. And I feel like a little bit more professional when I go to meetings where I actually have to show my face. <laughs> Over here, we're starting to get into more uh, VR stuff. This is my standard deviation HMC, which is great. It's hard to show it in the shot right now. When I first got it, I was like kind of on deck to shoot a commercial and I thought, well, it'd be great to have this on hand because it was like, we were like days away from filming and then the project fell through. And then I just had this $1,200 head mounted camera. Uh, which is cool. Every once in a while, I will use this thing and I will just like, I'll put my phone in it sideways. Like I am right now, I'll just put it right here inside the uh, inside the cleft of the thing and I'll use it as like a hands-free camera, which is pretty fun. Most of my cable management's good, except for what's spilling out the side here. You're seeing most of my VR cables. You're seeing the index stuff here, which is kind of not as well managed as everything else. I have my two knuckles and I have the valve itself, but it's about, three or four years old at this point, but it is still one of the best headsets out there. And I don't think anybody would disagree with that, at least for PC VR. Going south of the desk here, I have my 2D printer. I hate this thing. And what's worse, it's the best one on the market. We have a old Nintendo GameCube, which I still love dearly. It's also hooked into the ATEM. And then we're getting over to the realm of trackers. I have all of my Vive trackers set up that are sitting inside here. I have custom 3D printed little wire hooks back here that 
allow me to kind of string the cables the exact length that I want. I'm running six Anchor Smart IQ USB chargers through this thing, which is amazing because I can get these powered in about an hour if I need them. And the whole system is really smart. I think I saw Matt Workman do something similar and I was like, yeah, get me a, get me a shoe box. I've got this thing here for uh, accessories. Every once in a while, I will charge something that is not a charger in here, like this little mini keyboard. This thing can do Bluetooth and USB, and I use this all the time to connect wirelessly to other computers. Like, I might set it up to my main computer if I need to record mocap in another room because, look, eh, this room's so tiny, I'm just not, <laughs> it's just not happening. <laughs> because no room is wasted, I have my tripod and a couple light stands and another tripod over here. I have a Sackler Ace XL. I'm not gonna get it out because this video is already hard enough to do with all the gear. Moving away from the computer, we have the other side of the room over here. I'm using a super wide lens. I promise you this place is so small. Down here, I have a V-mount charger and I have my Creality CR6 SE. This thing is pretty great. It's honestly done everything I've asked of it for years now. I This cart is sort of similar to the desk. I have it pretty severely augmented. I have a couple of 3D prints that are keeping this pegboard back up here, and I 3D printed some brackets that can hold up this rod where I have a bunch of PLA stored on, as well as this little caddy that has all of the different tools that I use when I'm 3D printing. Everything's really compact and it's nice. It's sort of the studio that evolves itself over time and I really like that. Up here on the desk, currently you see I have my little iPad mini set up here. This is a great little idea jotting device that helps me a ton whenever I'm, you know, just like have too many screens or something and I need like a smaller space. Uh, I like to write on this thing. The Apple Pencil, if you just tap the screen, it'll just pull up a new note that you can use, like you can just start writing right away, which is amazing for someone with pretty bad ADHD. Also, you'll notice this keyboard's a little older. This is like a 2007 Apple Bluetooth keyboard. It was probably one of the first Bluetooth keyboards they put out, but it has batteries, so it's like lasted forever. I have it on a custom 3D printed stand here. I didn't spend any money on a keyboard or a stand. I just, you know, used what I had. Here's my little cover for it. It all kind of sits together. I also similarly have 3D printed stuff for this keyboard. So I can use my iPad as a DAW. When I want to make music, I can just plug in this USB adapter and it'll work as a DAW. I promise I'm better than that. <laughs> but yeah, these little brackets make it all possible which is super cool. Uh, maybe eventually I'll be able to mocap this too, and then you'll see this in one of my videos. Uh, I use this surface for all different kinds of things. So I have a cutting board map on it. It has an Arduino and a breadboard here that seems to never actually get any use. I have tools over on the side here. I'm using a lot of 3D prints as well to hang all my tools. It's a little chaotic, but I don't have a ton of space. So you do what you gotta do, right? This space is definitely currently form over function. Me and my buddy Ian made this bracket that I have stored into the wall here for my label maker. Here's my little tree over here. This is a little little palm who has been just absolutely ravaged by my kitten. You can see it's just been a relentless string of attacks from little buddy who's just been oh, giving him a hard time on the daily. <laughs> we got some crayons because every once in a while you just need that little bit of childlike inspiration. They're always here if I need them. Up here, I keep a lot of stationery and other stuff. I've got some nail polish remover and some hairspray for 3D printer stuff and uh, some safety goggles as well over on the side here because every once in a while, I just, I just need those. Over here, we have a Rock Band Pro Controller. Now, why do you have this, Woody? That's ridiculous. Are you playing Rock Band on Nintendo Wii? No, I'm not. But this thing is a MIDI controller, and it's got all of these keys, and it also like has strings, and you can plug this into a PC. So the plan is maybe in an upcoming video, we'll see, that uh, I'm trying to mocap this and use it for real-time performance capture. 
I have my closet in here, which is actually kind of hard to get into, especially with the guitar there right now. I'm a little nervous about that. And uh, it's it could be better in here. It's not terrible. I have a number of different like hardware boxes. This is mostly where I keep parts and things. I have a cable bag down here at the bottom that just holds all the different cables and stuff that I use for production. Lots of little pieces of hardware and stuff. I end up kind of building everything I need for organization typically. Like I, I put these shelves in. There's nothing to write home about, but uh, the wood was all free. I've got a wire rack for ideally all of my most immediately necessary cables, but I haven't messed with these in a while. The three printer, someone is really obsessed with eating PLA. I have to keep her out of here. Hey, buddy. And you know, I just have like a couple of tools, saws, etc. This is a map of Middle Earth. I haven't really figured out what to do with it yet. I use this space a lot, but currently mostly for programming. I will do VR dev in here, but I don't have a ton of room. You can see I do have some base stations. If I really need to do mocap, I typically go out into my living room here where I have a little bit more control over things. I've got another tracker up in the corner, as well as one on the other side of the room here, which is pretty helpful. This TV is actually really great. I love this thing. It's a LG 48 inch OLED screen. So when I want to do mocap or anything out here, I need a way to be able to see it. So I have this HDMI switch that I use if I ever need to make it all the way back to the TV. And it's great, but it resets everything in Windows, which isn't fun. So I try not to use it whenever possible. Also fun if you want to do any gaming out in the living rooms. Somebody wants to grow up and be a little engineer cat. Also, the tour wouldn't be complete without my skateboard decks here. I got this really cool wall hanger from Etsy where I've got my penny board and I got my main deck that I do tricks on. Well, not many tricks. And then another one that I have here for basically spare parts. So yeah, that's the tour. This is the space. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> that's, that's dumb. Who ends the video with thanks for dropping by?